Okay, we're heading off to Adelaide now. This is the car that we're hoping to convert. Slight, I'm slightly apprehensive about the whole process. Are you, John? No, not at all. No, I'm okay. I'm confident. Okay, good. Me too. Yes. I'm confident too. Like, I'm excited about it. Yes. But, and I know David's done a lot of preparation, but I'm just slightly apprehensive given that, you know, the car's running so well, we're driving along, it's running beautifully, and I'm just thinking, is it going to be running so beautifully in another week? <laughs> so, we are heading west. When we wake up in the morning, we are working on an electric car. Well, on pretty much the last petrol trip of the car, yes. we are approaching Murray Bridge, and we've been getting fantastic economy. It almost seems a pity to rip out the <laughs> petrol engine of this car. 6.4 litres per 100 kilometres, so it's actually pretty economical as an internal combustion engine. So we've just pulled up, and look what's in David's garage awaiting insertion. <laughs> I was just taking a hand of photos. I can see a few filings there. I'll have to give that a bit of a clean up tomorrow morning. Have you planned? Today's day one. Yep. Thursday, what is it? Uh, I don't know, 23rd? 23rd, of course, 23rd of April. Day one is to pull out the motor and the exhaust and the combustion components and um, build a rear battery rack. Bonus points will be awarded for putting the uh, electric motor and transmission in. Great. Okay, we'll see how we go. Someone else is just arriving. So uh, the, the car's oh, being attacked. Yep. So, so far, the bonnet's come off and the battery's come out, the coolant overflow, the air cleaner, and now uh, the battery, battery tray coming out. Um, so all the peripherals of the internal combustion engine are coming out now. Exhaust system coming out. So the wheels have come off so the drive shaft can come out so that the engine can be removed, engine and gearbox can be removed. Is that, that going to sit alright? As close as I could anyway, the hook's at the top. Yep. <laughs> Which I believe is that way. These little pins, mm -hmm. they locate sort of a just a light tap fit. They've got some paint on them now, so there'll be a little... But you see the idea is there is that you can see that circumference is yes. pretty even. Yes. So it's, you know, it's lined it up at, at the right spot. Yep. Because just the bolt by itself won't line it up because there's a millimetre or two of play. Oh, yeah, bolt bolt. okay. So you need the pins to locate it precisely. Right. But the first step we have to do is mount the motor to the adapter plate. Um, sits on here. There's a little grub screw in the coupler. Yep. And that's going to make with that little notch that I, I grinded there. Oh, okay, yep. So what we'll do in a minute is when we put it all together, we'll put that on there, a bit of Loctite on the thread, yep. and just tighten that up. And that yep. spline on the gearbox, the yep. input shaft. Yep. And yep. Um, so we're just going to do a trial fit of the transmission onto the electric motor. There it is. That should sit there. On those David? Um, um, you've got four turtles on the motor, fueled an armature, and because it's a series wound motor, you have to put them in series. Right, okay. So the current flows in through the armature, out of the armature, through the field. That's it running there. You can feel of that, Michael. You feel a bit of vibration. I don't think that's it. Oh, yeah. That's, it's not much of a problem now, but when this was loose, it was actually wobbling. Oh, my God. In the meantime, the motor's coming out. Alright, it's starting to hit. The engine's half out and the air conditioning's failing. Okay, there's a bit of relief now after getting the engine out. So the loom needs to be taken apart to remove the engine management side of things. Yes. So the wiring that remains attached to the so internal combustion engine when it was in the yep, yeah. needs to be removed because those wires are needed. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah. just going to check Just going to check the end, the motor now that we've loctited the adapter plate to it and it's spinning. Yeah. Sounds like... Similar noises to before? Yep, sounds good. Are happy? 
some slight adjustment of the locating bolts, uh, holes. So this is the mount now coming on, the motor is coupled to the gearbox. This so is yeah, the engine mount. Using the original Daihatsu engine mount. So here we have the electric motor and gearbox compared with the internal combustion motor and gearbox. The relative sizes are quite dramatic. Probably 2,000 parts in this, I guess. Yeah. 1,000 moving ones. One moving part in there. One moving part, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the other one is not in oh. anymore. The other one's on the ground. Uh, yeah. So while we were talking about battery racks, yeah. the ACE pit stop team have put the engine in. <laughs> From the dirt and grime to a gourmet meal. <laughs> yep. The plan is um, to have a piece of um, uh, 40 by 40 equal angle. Yep. Um, to, to bolt on here, right. yeah, and that'll come out <coughs> connect to probably a piece of RHS or something that comes back, and then another one coming up, yep. and another one that'll come under here, and we'll just weld across, um, weld that on. So it'll be fully welded apart from these. Oh, this, uh, okay. Bolt. So this is the bracket for these two bolts, yep. and then I'm just sort of working now from the other end, coming across here and down, yep. and uh, to add another one uh, probably coming like that. Right, which no, then no, the um, this piece up here will then connect across there. Great, yep, two holes. Fantastic, thank you. Drive shafts going back on. Yeah. Turn in your petrol. Cut through the body. Drill two holes, one on each side, in the corresponding spot, and then measure the, um, they become your distance between the two holes in your angle line. Reversing, reversing. Just finished the loom, reversing, testing reversing lights, yep, perfect. Headlights working, something's, headlights working, alright, great. So Paul, you reckon that when it's welded, when yeah. the mount's welded onto it. When it's welded, you won't have that amount of movement because it'll be restrained back to here. It's only two door, and so yeah, it makes it into a, more of a sort of a little delivery type vehicle. Yep. So it's quarter past three, and the battery rear battery racks are being fabricated by David over in the welding corner. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <coughs> and that's the battery. Paul's finishing the engine mount. Um, we'll measure this, cut it to length. Yep. So this is Liz and Joel doing some soldering to extend the line of the pack tracker. The okay, so the pack tracker is monitoring one battery and tells us that it's at 13 points. That's the menu, pack voltage, which is only one battery, so it'll be the same as the battery. And battery pack A, which is all you've got, yep. A1, and that's your only battery. So Can you cycle through them, John? Normally it'd go A1, A2, A3, A3. So this Testing is the, the vacuum, pump. the 96 volt brake pump, and that's it running off David's battery pack. And yeah, what are we actually running it off with? That's the vacuum there. Okay, okay, now we're about to run the motor, just to prove that it happened. Whoa. Whoa, wheels are moving. Wheels are turning. It's going forward. It's, it's going forward. forward. Yeah. Sounds good. It does. It does. Sounds, sounds great. Well, it's even quieter with even with oil. With oil. Ah.